John Muir Trail, Day 12. Fish Creek to Mono Creek, North Fork Junction, July 25th, 2014. Approximately a 10 and a half mile day. <clears throat> My journal reads, another beautiful day. We climbed about an 11,000 foot pass, silver pass, I think, and have descended to around 8,000 feet to make camp amongst the pines. We've really had a nice three days since Mammoth. I'm hoping to keep feeling better and better every day. I thought a lot about what will happen when I get home and what I want to make happen. It was nice to really lose myself for a bit as the trail flowed by beneath my feet. It was very close to a flow experience, if not actually being one. I think it was one. Probably was one. Feels strange looking back on it now. I thought about work, my excitement to tackle new projects and market myself to potential new clients. I thought about how I might show my lady friend a good time when she visits Truckee the day after I get back from this trip. That's going to be a very interesting transition back into civilization. Talk about a crash course. Learning by doing. It's what we're all doing every day. At least, I feel that it's what we should be doing. It requires attention and patience, and I think all people do this at different rates. Ah, my pens are dying. I'm not sure where I was going with that, but I do think it's extremely important to learn with compassion, honesty, and integrity. Lessons learned from anger, jealousy, and lust are also powerful, but they tend to have more drastic consequences. It's fun to be out here with these guys. We've had some great conversations, and it's really interesting to see what comes up in casual conversation, as well as to see the different perspectives of my hiking brethren. They're all incredibly intelligent men, and they all have their quirks and nuances, just as I most certainly do. We're all here for one reason or another, and everybody will take lessons away from this hike that are both similar and different. That's interesting. Some of our lessons will be the same. Some of our lessons will be entirely different. If one thing's for sure, we will always remember some moments, memories, and lessons from this trip. And I hope that I might hike elsewhere with some of these guys in the future. There is much to be learned out here, and there are many wildernesses to explore everywhere. Continue to seek adventure. Make the uncomfortable comfortable. Relish in every moment like it might be your last. Hope you guys enjoyed that excerpt from day 12 on the John Muir Trail from my John Muir Trail journal. If you guys are interested in picking up a copy of this to read on your own, I'll put the link to where you can find it on, in paperback version on Amazon below. Uh, and I've also thrown another link in there where you can get a PDF version on my personal website for a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the trail, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for supporting my continued mission to explore wilderness, create learning opportunities, and connect with nature. And we'll see you in the next video.